Hi so guys, I'm Mason and right now I am answering the right angle trigonometry. This is a test. Remember this is the test. So since this is the test, this is actually the one that has a lot of questions. It has 16 in total, 1 out of 16. So, okay. which is the adjacent side to the angle theta? This is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent in case you haven't learned back. You can skip, you can go back to my video a few months ago where I explained about this one. Awesome. Yay. So, what's this the opposite side to the angle theta? It's A, B, because this is the opposite side, clearly. This is the this is the hypotenuse, also clearly. And this is the adjacent, clearly. So this side is length of one side, length of uh, one side, length of 1.4142, saying you. So, let's submit. Yay! So, yeah, it can be that. Okay, so now, use the sine ratio to find the unknown si side length. So we need to find the Euler's number. But it's not actually a number, it's just a, it's a variable. But it's confusing, of course. So, to find the unknown sine length, the, you, you need to know what side you want. So this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite. So the opposite and hypotenuse is this one. As you learn from your Sokotoa, opposite and hypotenuse is sine. And sine of 51 degrees times... So, look... You find right now that it's the it's the hypotenuse that's the one, okay. and what happens is that since there's the hypotenuse that's being shown, what over that? So in order to find that, what you need to find out is what is that over here. So what you need to do is times by the lengths you know, then you get 5.44 units. Exactly, sort of, but not exactly, actually. So, 3, 2, 1. Yay! I did it, uh, So, use the ratio for the unknown side lengths. So, the unknown side length right now is C, and it's speed of light. But not actually speed of light. So, what happens is that, as you can see here, you see that you need to find the hypotenuse, and you have the uh, you have the opposite here. So the opposite and hypotenuse is another sine ratio. And since you know what's on that hypotenuse, what you need to do is you need to put the sine of fifty three degrees in. And what happens is instead you time see it. instead this one is. Instead, 1 over this answer times, yeah, 1 over that answer is equal to that answer. So, 5.01 units. 3, 2, 1. Yay! I did it! So, we can see the now, sine calculator. we can use the cosine ratio to find the unknown sine lengths this time. This time they showed because, well, the cosine ratio is just adjacent. The cosine ratio is adjacent and wait, the cosine ratio is adjacent and hypotenuse. This is the adjacent and this is hypotenuse. So in order to do this, you need to find the hypotenuse. So fifteen the cosine of fifty nine degrees is equal to zero point five one singi. And since we know that we need to find the hypotenuse, we just put if we just times it by the answer. So as you can see, if you if you put one over the answer times it by four, then you would get the answer. So it's seven point seven seven units, which is the answer for the problem. Wow, it's amazing. Awesome. Yes. So uh use the cosine ratio to find the unknown side length again. Uh, another cosine ratio because it looks like it's something it's actually the same place. So cosine of forty one degrees is equal to zero point seven five singi. And what happens is that you need to find the unknown side length. And what happens is that 1 over the answer times 2, which is that other thing, is 2.65. And 2.65 units is the answer. So, 3, 2, boom. Awesome, baby. Nice. So, let's... Okay, use the tangent ratio of the The tangent ratio is for only opposites and adjacent. So, this is the opposite and this is adjacent. So... In order to find it, 
you need to get the tangent of 50 degrees and it's equal to 1.19 remember but psalm 119 if you want to see oh, yeah. yeah psalm 119 is the longest longest chapter in the bible so uh, time oh yes there's a cross right here yeah yeah look at this that's a nice cross i made myself yeah, uh, made yes made out of plastic thingies You're so okay good, so uh You're there's so oh yes i forgot what i was doing for a second okay mm -hmm. so if you type if you div if you put one uh, no one over answer and then you get this times four which is equal to the d and the d is 3.36 units and what happens that is the answer for today's question Uh, the perfect number question. Okay. You said it never could you Can you scroll down? Hmm. Okay. Hey. How come we cannot see the one to four then? Oh, it's because I forgot that I'm. Oh, hmm. okay. So, use the tangent of any other day. The tangent of. Uh, the tangent of the. What is that? 40 degrees. The tangent of the 40 degrees is equal to 0 0.8. And the 1 over the answer is equal to this 1.19 if you times it by one it's just the same so it's 1.19 remember it's no, 119 so if you want to remember that the longest verse in the bible has 119 verses the longest chapter has in the bible has 119 verses and it's very long yeah, sure, we agree. it has the whole alpha it holds it has the whole alpha beta gamma ballad in that one wow. so find the unknown side so, in order to find the unknown side, you need to use a formula. So, since there is no adjacent, I mean, there's no opposite, that means it's adjacent and hypotenuse, which is the cosine. And the cosine formula is used to find the 47 degree thingy. So, let's do this 0 0.60 thingy. And then what happens is if you see this 1 over the answer times 3 is equal to 4.3. 4.4 4 thingy so it's 4.4 units yeah. so three so yeah. boom yeah. okay find the unknown side again so since we need to multiply by three again so this is another cosine because you can see that the adjacent is not here i mean you see the opposite is not here so the cosine of that 54 degrees is equal to 0 0.58 one over the answer which is so amazing. And the uh, time, oh yes, one over the answer is, wait, oh, wait, did I do it wrong? I don't know, just double check Oh wait, it's the cosine of 54 degrees. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, times three immediately. This is a different problem. I forgot that I'm doing. So it's 1.763. 1.763 is equal. Go to the one, three, seven, six, seven, six, six. So you round it off and then okay. boom, oh, you yeah, did it. And out of that, you get to the no next. Way. Yay! Now this is what's called the test. Uh, yeah, the test. Eleven out of sixteen. So that's how it makes it. It's more. It's more than ten questions. Find the unknown angle. So theta is nowhere here. So in order to find theta, you need to find the how to get theta. So how to get theta? Oh, it looks like a mouse from if you look in a different way. Sorry, but adjacent. what is happens is the missing is the theta, the angle. Oh. So what happens is that you can also find this side if you want to. But right now we're looking for theta. Yeah, so the what you need to do is you need to do the inverse. Of these ones so what you need to do is you need to inverse stuff so what happens is that okay. you can see that the formula that uses this there is no opposite so it's cosine again opposite I mean no, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse so 15 over 25 and 15 over 25 well, you don't get the degrees. You know why you don't get the degrees? It's because this is about the finding the angle this time. So, in order to find the exact degrees of the angle, you need to find a dollar. So, what happens is that here. No. So, the so actually, sorry for the pausing. The cosine of, the cosine of negative 1, yeah, you do this. 
there's the shift button, just in case you, def you never saw this calculator type. Then you get the 3 over 5, because that's the simplified formula, sorry. It, uh, so 53.13, and this is the answer. It would always duplicate something. I've seen yeah, yeah. this answer before. Okay, let's be uh -huh. the Okay, find the unknown angle again. So, there is no opposite again. Okay. So, it's cosine okay. of... Is, no, no, no. The cosine negative 1 of... Uh, of uh, yeah, wait, 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 uh, what, what, Adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, this equal to 16 over 34. It's not in the simplified form yet. It's simplified for the same as 17. So, 62... 61.93 degrees. And this is before and right. There's an answer. And some minute you get the right. And it's very, very, very confusing that it always duplicates and so on. And I don't understand why. The angle of the pressure. The angle of the. Oh, Barry. The depression that he has. Uh uh. Depression. Okay. Yes. Yes. The depression that he has because he doesn't. He didn't find the balloon is equal to the 21 degrees. Yeah, the balloon is there. Okay. I just forget all about this angle of elevation and depression. Just remember about these other ones. Like, say, you re just remember this one. So, oh. what you need to find out is since we're in this problem where the angle is shown, you just just forget about Ed and the hot air balloon. Okay. What you need to do yeah, is... Yourself, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, they're just Thank a bit distracting us. So... Do you find the opposite and adjacent? If the only one was opposite and adjacent, then no hypotenuse is tangent. The tangent of 21 degrees is equal to 0 0.383. And what happens is variable? that it says that what is the horizontal distance between the two? So what happens is that since the tangent is opposite over adjacent, that means we need to find what's this. And in order to find what's this, what you need to do is you need to get this. But first, this is how you do it. You see, this is something. This is 86 meters, and this is x. So what you need to find is x. So this over, I mean, so this over this is uh, equal to this. So one over the answer. No, that's that's a, one over the answer again. I, I, okay, so if you times it by 86, you will get 33. And the uh, well, I think that's the end. Correct or right or not is okay. Yes. Because we, um, everybody can make a mistake, but I hope it's correct. I don't know. If oh, wait. I need to calculate it to make sure I can find out if the nearest angle. Okay. Wait. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Why? Uh, because what happens is that it looks a bit too big. So what we need to do is divide it by 86. And then after that, 1 over the answer times 86 is equal to the answer, okay, 224. 224 meters, yeah, I'm sure of it. You're right, how did you figure that out? <laughs> it's My because gosh. I'm estimating. Of course I estimate, oh. I'm really getting to estimate when I can't well. even solve So what problem. you need to find is x over here, what's the height of the tree? Well, the height of the tree depends on where Ed is like this. So what happens is the height of the tree should be uh, not the same amount as this. And it should be lower, just like this answer. So what happens is the answer, the elevation. So you do the, 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 wait, wait. There's no hypotenuse. So the tangent, again, of 36 degrees is equal to this. Double check and estimate. And more. then times 30. Boom, you got 21. And 21 is his nearest whole numbers. 22, I think, is an S. Awesome. Oh my wow, gosh. I'm perfect. I'm not Almost. God or Jesus. But or I'm maybe perfect. this bearing, is it? A bearing and a big ship of travels. A ship travels is given the bearing of 311. How far north is the starting point of the ship? So what happens is that the the it's not shown. So what happens is we need to do it on paper. paper. Well, no, 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 I'm joking. Oh, no, I don't so. mind. Okay, <laughs> so, let's imagine a, a ship travel 51 kilometers. No, 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 you don't need to. Because the, the nearest angle to this is 315 degrees. How far north is the starting point of the ship? The star, uh, like, how far north? So, what happens is that... It just imagine, I'm imagining it in my head. So, this ship is over here, travels in here. And what happens is it's like this. 
and you need to find the distance between these and this. And so, uh, what happens is that the closest angle to that is 315 degrees, and that is that means how far south. But we're saying how far north. So we need to write it on paper to make sure. Okay, I'll get a pencil for a while. Okay, I'll just get a pencil. Yeah, it's positive. So now I'm gonna draw it. <laughs> so, okay. so what happens is that you need to draw a circle, but it's not a circle. Remember that there is the north, south, east, west, the east, west, south, and north. News, but it's not news. That's how. That's not how news is made. So it says how far north is the starting point of the ship. Since it travels on a bearing of 311 degrees, that means this part of this, 315, is going to be like this. So, it's going to travel like this, right? It says how far north is the starting point of the ship. So, it's going to travel here, in sort of this way. And, well, the reason how it does that, even though the bearing is like this, it so happens like that. The bearings are like these sometimes. It always happens in a confusing way sometimes. So, yeah, sometimes they may. So, let's try to find how far south is the starting point of the ship. But you can't do that because what they're saying is how far north is the starting point of the ship. So, it gets all confusing and stuff. So, let's just imagine. Let's just imagine. Because this is like so, so small degrees. It's equal to the, let's just guess that it's just like this. So, since it's equal to 4 degrees, because, well, it, it, it looks like 4 degrees. And the, the 4 degrees thingy, yeah, the 4 degrees, sure. So, uh, wait, uh, if I, please, please. So, uh, this is equal to this triangle. So, this triangle, but this side is not included. So, what happens is that what we need to find is... This. What we need to find is the angle and the thingy. So, how far north is the starting point of the ship? So, since we could see that we're only dealing with out the opposite, we would use the cosine again. So, the cosine of 4 degrees is equal to this, and the well, it travels 51 kilometers on a bearing of 311 degrees. But all the answers are different. But I've noticed that. Every time I answer, it's always something like this. Still yeah, remember your bearing test? Yeah, but I'm sorry, Did guessing. You compute? Did you not compute? I didn't compute very much, but I think this is the answer. You're right. No way. I knew that my answer was correct because it always looks like this, like maybe this one or yeah. something. Okay. okay. So let's do this. Let's submit. Amazing. I knew it! 16 oh, out of 16! I beat oh. my high score! Yay! Oh, At so least I didn't commit a mistake. Yeah, because sorry. even if I guessed on all the bearings, <laughs> it's very good. I've noticed that math likes always you, tricks me sometimes. You can analyze so that they trick me guessing. into calculating everything when they just put the answers on me. Just <laughs> they can't even notice. Okay. So, well, yeah, it's very awesome. Bye guys! Have fun! Even sometimes math is fun. Also remember that, well, sometimes mathematics tricks us with different types of questions, like that bearings one. So yeah, it's always the lowest number. Show us your shirt. Oh yeah. This, this is my shirt. See? Mm. So, yeah. Sasuke is new. See it work lang namin. Yeah, I'm from Philippines. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure you might know what that means. Yeah. So, also, remember to subscribe to my channel, Ace and Crystal. Also, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and lead it in the cross. Bye, guys! Yay!